Number 17 in the Duotang. Number 17. with the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Amen. Very nice to see you all again. It's been, uh, been a little while, um, and it's very nice to be back at St. Faustina Parish. Uh, special welcome to the, those who are joining online today. Uh, welcome to St. Faustina, and thank you for being with us. So we have a baptism during our Mass today, and we have a uh, wonderful little boy called Sutton, and he's going to uh, come forward now with parents and godparents, um, where we're going to ask uh, the parents what they desire for Sutton today. So please stand now, let us uh, prepare ourselves for this Mass by acknowledging our sins and asking the Lord for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor your mother and your father, so that the days, so your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or male or female slave or ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The word of the Lord. of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. have the words of eternal life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Lord, you have the words of eternal to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. Lord, you have the words of eternity. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it's the power of God. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are called, both Jew and Gentile, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ. 
so loved the world that he gave his only son that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life praise and honor to you lord jesus christ may the lord be with you a reading of the holy gospel according to john glory to you The Passover of the Jews was near and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found the people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. They then said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years, and will you raise it up in three days? But Jesus was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples re remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. When he was in Jerusalem, during the Passover festival, many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus on his part would not entrust himself to them because he knew all people and needed no one to testify about human nature, for he himself knew what was within the human person. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. So the context of uh, the gospel today uh, is this great temple in Jerusalem, which was declared one of the wonders of the world. It was beautiful by all ancient accounts. And it was a treasure that was at the center of religious life in Jerusalem. Yet its sacred nature was so disrespected how can that be? How could it be that people could be so oblivious to its beautiful and sacred nature and treat uh, the temple with such contempt and, contempt and disrespect? We see that Jesus pointed to his own body as the temple that would be rebuilt in three days. And of course we know his body would be treated with contempt and with disrespect in a most profound manner as well. But the great teaching here is that the body of Christ endures whether the temple exists or not, because it is the temple of the body of Christ that we belong to most profoundly and most powerfully. So it's fitting, I think, uh, on this day that we talk about Jesus' body as being the temple of the church and being the temple of the faithful, that we add a new member, we add Sutton to, our, uh, to the body of Christ, um, we add his uh, beautiful and innocent life to the wonderful uh, flock of the faithful throughout history and throughout the world today. But we should also look at, uh, in terms of our Lenten journey, this aspect of Jesus, which we rarely see. We see that Jesus was angry. 
He was disturbed. He was emotionally wrought by what was going on in this sacred place. So the reaction of anger um, that uh, may go against what we feel in our well-worn image of, of Jesus, what we think of Jesus when we imagine him. Does this episode indeed conflict with who you imagine Jesus to be? Do you think Jesus is the good shepherd, which he is, who is meek and humble of heart, which he is, could also be angry and upset by what he was seeing? So this episode really shows us another side of Christ, another side of the body of Christ too, perhaps the church. The time given to Jesus to minister to his people was being fulfilled and he had great energy for it, but um, helping them understand the ways of his heavenly father. But the time was growing short and Jesus became angry and justifiably so, for the circumstances were serious and, but Jesus' motives were honorable. Jesus was essentially a peacemaker, and he called his disciples to be peacemakers after his own heart. But when he saw that the temple was no longer serving the holy purpose for which it was built, he was moved by emotion. He was moved to take action. For us, all our emotions, including anger, are not bad in themselves. Emotions move us from maybe being in a rut, maybe being in a place where we never can quite move forward, to suddenly jumping and doing something, taking, taking a, ro a, ro of, a route of action, whereas we may be passive. Angers have, uh, emotions have that power. So some people suppress their emotions and all the time, and consequently, they, uh, their, their reactions may not be necessarily in sync with what the situation requires. We are to control our emotions, but we are also to be open to them. And I think that's what we see in Jesus today. So we, Jesus would soon pay the price for his zeal. And this episode, we may, uh, it may have been one where it was decided that Jesus must pay the price and must be silenced at all costs. Perhaps that's where this episode would lead. Nevertheless, Jesus was moved to change the situation that he saw before him. To read and know the scriptures is the most powerful way to gain a com com comprehensive picture of Jesus. Not simply little bits of him, but see him in the whole context of his life. How he reacted to things. It's like a diamond with many facets. We need to think about these things and incorporate them into our image of Jesus so it doesn't just become one dimensional. I hope that during this season of Lent, you will be able to find the time to read about the life of Jesus and think about it. Think about this diamond and all its different facets to gain a more, with more depth, our understanding of the Lord. I'm sure it will help you to better understand Christ and to rethink perhaps some of your assumptions about him and so, through this Lenten time, to see Jesus in a new and more powerful light. So God bless you. So I'd like now to invite uh, parents, a Sutton uh, family, godparents, and all those who wish to come up here to gather in the back of the font here and face the congregation.
parents and on all of us who are here baptized today. And I ask you to respond, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give him the new life of baptism and welcome him into your holy church. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make Sutton your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And keep Sutton's family always in your love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And through this celebration today, renew the grace of baptism in each one of us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray, pray for us. us. And all holy men and women of God, pray, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for Sutton today, set him free from original sin and make him a temple of your glory. Send your Holy Spirit to dwell within him. We ask this prayer in Christ our Lord. Amen. So now we're going to anoint uh, Sutton with the oil of salvation. Uh, on his uh, on his neck uh, neck area with the sign of the cross. <coughs> so, Sutton, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May He strengthen you with His power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
I, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So now I'd like to bring the second forward right to the front. <coughs> Gentlemen, I present to you Satya now baptized. Sutton, we receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. To the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Sudden you have been put on, you have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Amen. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> for our prayers of faithful today. <clears throat> the announced intention for this Mass is for Christina DiPietro. <clears throat> Let us pray for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, that they may be blessed with the gifts of wisdom, faith, and prophecy, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For a cleansing of the temple of our hearts, that God will free us from all that enslaves us and help us to offer our self-sacrificing services to God and others, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For a spirit of integrity, that we recognize ourselves as servants of God, Honoring God's name by our words and deeds, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to violence, 
that God will heal the brokenness in our society that devalues human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick among our families and friends, especially <coughs> Amanda Kelly, Francine Villeneuve, Aaron Dalton, Darlene Reed, J. Jason Gagne, and those who were included in our prayers of the sick online, and any others who were ill but not included by name, may Christ bless them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Timothy Provo, Etta Dautremont, Leslie Creedon, Joseph Pusiak, and Madeline LeMay. May God welcome them into eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special intentions in your own hearts during this Lenten time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know our many needs in this life. Hear and answer our prayers today, for we make them through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for our song. Please join me in a offertory hymn, All Who Are Thirsty. It's hymn number 269 in the Duotang. Number 269. All who are thirsty, all who are weak, come to the Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and for good of all this whole church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings and grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did he thirst for her faith that he kindled in her the fire of divine love. So too, give, we give you thanks, and with the angels, we praise your mighty deeds as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Marcel, our bishop, Yvonne, our auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostle, Saint Faustina, and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to call God our Father, and so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of us who are unable to receive the Eucharist at this time, you are encouraged to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Please join me in our communion hymn, Power of Your Love. It's hymn number 38 in the Duotang. Number 38. Read. 
grace that I found in you. And Lord, I've come to know the weaknesses I see. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about us in mystery may come to its true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's been a joy to be with you today. Always nice to be back at St. Faustina. Nice to see you all today. Congratulations again to uh, the family of Sutton. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who are out of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join me in our closing hymn, This Little Light of Mine. This is for Sutton. Hymn number 218 in the Duetang. Hymn number 218. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine.